find each other and create in the islands. We Bye. met on uh, on Craigslist, <laughs> basically. Yeah, you know. mm -hmm. we didn't know each other until <laughs> the band. There oh, were a no. series of ads, different ones at different times. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. So, it's four of y'all. How did how did everybody else meet? How did you guys come together? Oh, um, it was all through Craigslist, but everybody through Craigslist. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It started. Um, <laughs> we used to have a keyboardist named Ari, who started it. We've been playing bands forever, and one day I went on Craigslist, and there was just this kind of big ad that said indie band looking for musicians. Mm -hmm. uh, so I answered it and showed up, um, and it, you know, it was it was him, me, uh, a singer. We didn't have a drummer. Um, and it was fun. We had fun together, um, but it wasn't really a complete band. And we were looking for a drummer for a while, and then eventually Anderson showed up. Um, and when he showed up, it was like instant kind of chemistry, and it felt like a real thing. Nice. Yeah. So where did the name Internet Islands come from? We uh, we had a long list of names. We just kind of came up with like five names each. Mm -hmm. Me, Matt, and Ari, the original keyboard player. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just kept narrowing it down until uh, this one kind of rose to the top. Right, the one that stuck. It like, meant something and didn't mean something. <laughs> I feel that. So, what's you guys' creative process like? Like, what is it like writing a song or making a song with Internet Islands? Um, we got a couple of, I guess, different avenues to do that. We um, a lot of times we just like jam, just impro full improvisation, and we uh, we record everything mm -hmm. that we do pretty much. So um, yeah, we'll just record like a whole like hours worth of material and then listen back to it and kind of uh, anything that we are really love, we'll you know um, try to work on that or like piece together stuff. We'll take like seg segments of one thing and uh you know blend it with another or just you know somebody will come to the band with like a, a riff or you know some melody and then we'll all kind of do our thing and make that okay that's an interesting creative process i've never heard that actually yeah. <laughs> like that's actually really cool so what's the story behind you guys a single puppy dog i've listened to it like every day since <laughs> Say, I don't know if I'd say a story. I wrote it before I ever joined the band, like the lyrics mm. and the melody. I wrote it to like some instrumental I found on YouTube and it started off a little bit grittier. <laughs> I, like, it was more like know, grungy. Yeah, mm. grungy vibe. Okay, okay. And I was just like sitting in my laundry room on top of my washing machine. I was like, just, you know, saying stuff. But yeah, then um, one day, like they said, we were like playing together. They started playing something, and I was like, oh, I think this would sound kind of cool with that. I just started singing it over the instrumentals of their like the stuff they were doing. And yeah, it's it's pretty groovy now compared mm -hmm. to before. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. So, what genre would you guys classify Internet Islands as? Tough one. Huh? <laughs> I'd say we're indie rock band for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of the safest way to describe us. I mean, I think we're 
indie rock definitely brings to mind like a certain sound that I think we sometimes have, but a lot of times don't. Um, but yeah, I mean, indie rock doesn't really have like a you know, very strong meaning these days. It can be like all sorts of different sounds. So that's like the safe answer, I think. Right. Indie rock. So what's the best show that you guys have played so far? The Smith's old bar show we played. So. Smith's old bar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. There's a lot of people in the crowd. What made it good? Because the people? Or? Yeah, the people, the vibe, like all the people seemed to be really enjoying it. Getting feedback after the performance was really nice. Mm -hmm. It was just nice to see like so many people out, I think. Yeah. That's why nice. I enjoyed it. There's a lot of people who showed up who had never heard about us or seen us before. Mm -hmm. And they didn't know what to expect. Um, and they dug it. So. Yeah, and a few like people heard us playing and like followed the music and like got to us. It was a different demographic than what we could be used to. Right. I thought our first show was um, one of my favorites, probably, if not my favorite, just because it was so interesting. It wasn't like a normal concert, it was like in a radio studio mm. and it was in front of like, I don't know, five or six people. Mm but it was broadcasted while we played it. So that was, it was also our, our very first time performing in front of anybody who wasn't, you know, one of our friends or family, basically. Right. So. Okay. So unless you got his favorite song to perform. Mine is Under the Mound. Why is that your favorite? Uh, because there's some, some really heavy, they synth tones that I played, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> I understand the book. So what's some challenges that you guys face as a band? If you ran into it again. Uh, just the slow ride. Like, that actually, you know, kind of get where we're trying to go. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work, a lot of like, just consistent effort. Right, so, a lot of so, work. Yeah, staying motivated, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what's some good advice that you could give to new bands or people who haven't started a band and want to start one? Um, I would say just stick with it because, you know, if like bands grow together and they, um, you know, the, the more time you spend working with people, it gets easier. And like at the beginning, it can be rough or like kind of awkward trying to figure out the way other people work but I think if you um, eventually like you can you can get there unless there's just some like massive you know differences of the strengths to it yeah I think it's important too to find the right people like us being a Craigslist fan we've auditioned quite a few people to get to this lineup mm -hmm. like we auditioned singers to get me on Ryan kind of auditioned his way in. Um, but I think finding people that you gel with where there's like a spark, and you can kind of tell immediately when Mion came in and played with us that first day, we kind of knew after the first jam session that she was the best candidate that we came across in the club. Right. So if you guys got open for any music artists, who would it be? Death Tones? Yeah. Mm. I love them. How's it? Just to be friends. Yeah. You want to follow us on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Radio Pen. Yeah, I'm not. I'd say Massive Attack for me. Okay. And I'd probably go with Falls. Falls? Yeah, Falls, the UK band. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, we have a good old time. There's three UK bands. Where's, um, where's that from? Is that from? California. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, when can we hope for a project from Internet Islands? A well, full length project? Mm hmm. Well, like an album? Yeah. <laughs> sure. It could be an EP, it could be an album. <laughs> like, um, just a project. 
something we could sit down and listen to multiple songs. Yeah, I mean, I I think we would all love to do that. Maybe. It's uh, we've been real soon. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. next week. We've been great. Yeah, I'm gonna pull them next week. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Can't give too much away. I feel that. But we um we do everything ourselves. Like we don't. Um, it's ever mastering. Mm-hmm. We like engineer. We record here and you know produce mix. So um, that you know takes a while. I think if we were to mm-hmm. do a full length album, it if we did it all ourselves, it would, it would take a while. If we had like an engineer or somebody, it might be faster, but yeah. Yeah, yeah it's hard to hold back the song after we like, took so long to make it to. Right. Of, getting it out to market feels right. Definitely. That's how you know, roll out, make sure people know it's coming <laughs> so they right. can hear it. I understand. So, how can fans stay up to date with internet audiences? Um, definitely our Instagram. Yes, you know, we got to be posted there, and this year we kind of took a a bigger interest in our website, so internetislandsband.com. So that one more time? Internetislandsband.com. Gotcha. Uh, we'll always have everything up to date on there. Gotcha. So any final remarks? Not for me. Thanks for coming. Thank you for interviewing us. Okay. <laughs>